Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. What a day it is. I pray that wherever you are, you are rejoicing in this day. For this is the day the Lord has made and I'm rejoicing in it. And I pray you are as well. Thank you for joining me today as we pray together about growing in God's grace. Man, we are day number 15. We're halfway um, through this 30-day prayer devotional. And I've gotten some feedback this um devotional has been a blessing to many people. It's certainly been a blessing to me as we've been praying about growing in God's grace. And I pray that as we are learning from God's word about his grace, it's leading us to live a life in his grace. And so what we do each and every day, if you're new to the devotional, we simply read a word right out of God's word, and then we just pray God's word back to him. I'm under the simple belief that God's will is contained in his word. And I know from his word that if we do anything according to his will, he'll bless us. He said, for herein is God glorified that you and I bear much fruit. And I believe God wants us to bear fruit in his grace. So we're going to read a passage of scripture today. We're going to pray that word back to him. And I'm going to pray and believe you're going to experience the grace of God like you've never experienced it before. Come on, let's read God's word together in Romans chapter 5 and verse 20. And then let's go to God in prayer. Here's what Romans 5 and 20 says from the New King James Version. It says, Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So here's what we're going to be praying about today. We're going to ask God to forgive us of our sins and offenses against him. We're going to ask God for his forgiveness of our sins and offenses against him. We've all sinned, fallen short of his glory. Then secondly, we're going to thank God that where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. That's right. We're going to thank God that he does have more grace power than we have sin power. We don't have more sin power than God has grace power. And we ought to be thankful for that. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you. We honor you today. We magnify you. We lift you up and we glorify you. Lord, we declare that you are, in fact, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that you are the head of our lives, that you are the Lord of our lives, that you are the leader of our lives. We thank you that we have life in you and life more abundantly. We thank you that we are saved by your grace through faith, not of works, lest we would boast. We thank you for Jesus Christ and his total sufficiency. We thank you for his blood being shed on the cross at Calvary over 2,000 years ago for the forgiveness of our sin. We thank you that when we call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are saved. We thank you for your saving grace today. And Lord God, we thank you and ask you uh, to forgive us of every one of our sins and offenses against you. Lord, we've all sinned according to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, and we've all fallen short of your standard, your mark, your glory. And for that, Lord God, we recognize that without you, we would not be righteous. So we ask you, O God, through the power that is in the blood of Jesus to wash us clean from our sins. Lord, we, you said in your word that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and purify us of all unrighteousness, according to 1 John 1 and 9. So we confess the sins that we committed yet today, yesterday that are unconfessed in our lives. We agree with you, Lord, about the mistakes we've made and the marks we've missed. We don't try to conceal it. We don't try to argue about it. We confess it openly and freely that we might be forgiven freely. We thank you for the forgiveness of our sins and offenses against you. And we thank you, Lord, that where our sin does abound, your grace does abound much more. Lord, we thank you that we don't have more sin power than you have grace power. Lord, we've done some evil and wicked things in our lives, things that we're not proud of, things that we're ashamed of. But no matter how bad or heinous or or wrong they may be, your word tells us that we don't have more sin power than you have grace power. Hallelujah to your lane. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you that your grace is sufficient that your grace is abundant, that it is your grace that covers our sins. And so, Lord God, we ask that you help us to be grateful 
to you for that. And not only be grateful, God, but share your grace with other people. That when other people wrong us and do things that uh, offend us and that are offensive to us, God, help us to extend grace to them, even as you extended grace to us. And then, Lord, help us to share your grace, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news that Jesus saves with somebody who's stuck in their own sin. Help us to remind them, according to Romans chapter 5, verse 20, that they don't have more sin power, oh God, than you have grace power. Let your grace be evident in the life of somebody else as we share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Lord, one thing that unites us all in this world, no matter what color skin we have, no matter where we were born, no matter what gender we may be, no matter how much money we have or don't have, is that we've all sinned and fallen short of your glory. But the good news is, we don't have more sin power, oh God, than you have grace power. So help us be united in growing in your grace today. Help us be united in growing in the unmerited favor that you extend toward each and every one of us today. And we'll be careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, our scripture today came from Romans chapter 5 and verse 20. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. Amen. I want you to grow in the grace of God and go in the grace of God today. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you, and we're going to be praying for you. We love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.